Corrosion is the natural deterioration of materials due to their interaction with the environment. Corrosion occurs mainly in metals due to their reaction with oxygen. In general, the processes can be chemical or electrochemical, but they can also be physical or mechanical, such as high salinity, high temperatures or industrial pollution. We have all seen red rust on steel, green rust on copper, and white rust on aluminium. This corrosion involves a large amount of money for all countries, both to replace corroded structures and to maintain existing ones. There are basically four types of corrosion, but there are also others that occur at a lesser extent. The first would be general corrosion. Corrosion develops evenly over the entire surface of the material. In this painting system, depending on the exposure time, less or more corrosion is produced. Galvanic corrosion. It occurs when two different potential materials are in contact with an electrolyte. This type of corrosion is very dangerous because under certain circumstances the reaction rate can be very high. Pitting corrosion. It is a localised attack on metals and is accelerated by the presence of chlorides. This type of corrosion is very dangerous because in the case of tanks containing liquids they can perforate. Corrosion caused by turbulence. It occurs inside pipes due to the flow of liquids that successively remove rust layers that are formed. The UNE 12944 standard is used to determine corrosive environments and resistance of paint systems. This standard focuses on uncoated steel, galvanized steel and thermally sprayed zinc coated steel supports. This standard establishes different categories according to the environment, ranges from C1 to CX. C1, applicable to heated places with clean atmospheres such as shops, office interiors, etc. C2, applicable to low pollution areas such as rural areas, sports centres, warehouses, etc. C3, applicable to areas of moderate pollution such as urban areas or areas of high humidity. C4, applicable to industrial areas and low salinity areas such as swimming pools or shipyards. C5, applicable to industrial areas with high humidity and aggressive environment and coastal areas with high salinity. CX, applicable to areas at sea, industrial areas with extreme humidity, aggressive or tropical atmosphere. For structures submerged in water, the standard establishes four categories. IM1, for fresh water, such as river installations. IM2, sea or brackish water, such as underwater structures without cathodic protection. IM3, soils such as underground tanks or steel pipes. IM4, sea or brackish water such as underwater structures with cathodic protection. As a first step we recommend using a painting system with products that ensure high durability and resistance. At BESA we have a large number of painting systems that meet all the categories we have discussed.